this is the most requested video on this channel and i think it's about time i make that video all right guys let's get started So this is a watch, a wristwatch that we'll be using for this edit. You can find it on pexel.com. I'll leave a link to the exact ones down there below. You can download and practice your hands on it. So we just drag and drop in the timeline. So let's just increase it. Let me bring this down a little bit and let's increase the scale of it. Let's go to somewhere 160% and drag it so it will be right in the middle. With the watch video selected, go to the right side click on adjustment then click on hsl on orange let's turn the saturation down we want to make it black and white kind of ish for now then go to the all yellows and take the saturation down too and probably with the brightness let's go down on that too then click on the curves we want to introduce some till color into it scroll down on the green curves make a point at the middle and drag it up a little bit then we do the same thing on the blue curves make a point at the middle and drag it up so we can introduce more kind of tail color into it i think with the greens i can go more now when i take it off you can see we added some tail color to the watch now click on the video and make sure you click on the basic then scroll down on opacity let's take it down to somewhere 80 percent so now we have this on the screen now click on the watch video take your player to the starting frame go to the right side and make a keyframe on scale then take your player to somewhere 12 seconds in the timeline or it could be more than that then make another keyframe on scale and this time around you can change it to 130 or 140 percent so now we have this it zooms out slowly so with the text animation go to the left side click on text drag default test in the timeline and we want this test to be somewhere 10 to 12 frames so then i'm just going to cut this side off so now i have 12 frames with the text now with the text selected go to the right side delete default text and type in the text you want to write let's change the font size to somewhere 10 and also with the font style i'll go with futura or you can go with some thin style i think this was closer to what magnet media was using so i'm just going to leave it right in the center then with the text still selected go to animation click on that and click on out then scroll down and select slide up and with the duration we'll leave it at five seconds so now play it comes and then it goes up on the screen with this double hand image you can find it on google just search for two hands grabbing and it's going to pop out on google so you can just download without the white background so with this i'm just going to drag and drop in the timeline and we want this hand image to come in somewhere eight to ten frames ahead so i'm just going to take my player to the starting of it and go eight frames forward and drag my hand image to that very side now with the hand let's do some small saturation and color grading on it so make sure you click on the image go to the right side and click on adjustment then click on basic scroll down let's start with the contrast let's introduce some contrast into it so somewhere 44 and then increase the saturation a bit more then go to hsl on your orange side click on that and now move it towards the red side so we just want to add some more contrast and also saturation to the hands so that it will pop on the screen so when you look carefully there is a tail color and this is red kind of color so it goes hand in hand with this color so with this it's going to really pop on the screen from here if you like you can add some sharpness to it this is just a creative choice so i'm just going to add some sharpen a little bit to it so now we have this popping out on the screen now take your player to the very first frame of the hand image and click on video on your right side then on scale make a keyframe there then go somewhere 27 to 30 frames forward and still make sure you've selected the hand image then make a keyframe on scale over there let's change it to somewhere 105 or 1010 105 or 110 
then use this very arrow to go to the first keyframe we created and you can see it take us to the very first keyframe on there let's change it to somewhere one percent so when you look carefully it comes on the screen slowly like this now when i play let me show you it comes and it doesn't give that smooth zoom in so we need to make it so it will give that vibe that it's popping and zooming in on the screen i'll show you guys very soon just right click on the image and click on show keyframe animation then click on the scale and click on this drop down menu now with this keyframe select that and select auto curve now select the first one on this side and select auto curve now we're going to work with these handles this line handles let's start with the first one click on this and drag it up a little bit now we're going to work on this very down one click on that and raise it up to this side and let's take it down a little bit so with this it's going to give us some fast movement at the beginning and also very slow at the end i'll show you guys how it looks like so with this you can be playing around it to give that vibe or the smoothness that you want so with this tutorial for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to leave it just like this then right click on the image and select hide keyframe animation so now we have something like this it comes in the test disappear at the same time with a video call animation you can just type in in google video call and it's going to bring you this icon a lot of them so with this i'm just going to drag and drop in the timeline and we just need this video call icon because this is too big for what we're going to use so with this just click on that and i chose green so i can easily remove it then click on cut out on your right side click on chroma key select color picker and select the green part now just increase the green till it disappear on the screen now go to your left side click on test drag default test in the timeline let's stretch it to make it the same length as the video call then with the default test selected go to the right side and delete that then type in dot let me just move it from the side so we can see exactly what we are doing so first let's increase the scale of it increase it till it gets to this side let's move it to this side then we can increase the font size of it so we can go for more and then i'm just going to move it to this very side and increase it more let's just move it to this side now let's just change the color of it go to color and take your color to somewhere here it was kind of till color so we're just going to go for this till color and then i'm just going to go for the bright side now scroll down on opacity let's take it down a little bit for now let's move it so we can place it and make sure the icon stays in the middle of it so something like this now click on the dot and let's just increase the opacity to somewhere 70 to 80 because we want it to see through this very side then click on stroke with the black color select this color picker and select this color so then we're just going to take it to the bright side then let's close that and take the thickness down to somewhere three to four so i think i can go for two with this then close that and then select glow let's just increase that for now so now for us to see this very icon we need to make a compound clip of this dot so then right click on the dot and create a compound clip so with the compound clip selected go to the right side and click on basic scroll down and let's take it to layer one for now layer two sorry guys then it's going to come behind this very icon now we need to make a compound clip of this too and if you're using a free version you cannot make a compound clip of this and this is one of the reasons why you need the pro version i still have the free version and i'm planning to start using the pro version somewhere next year by using a vpn so when i'm able to do that i'll make a comparison video between the paid and then the free version for you guys so with this the only way out to play this is to freeze the frame so i'm just going to right click that go to edit and select freeze then with the freeze selected i'm just going to delete this side and delete this side so i can just have this freeze frame then let me just drag it to this side and stretch it to make it the same length as this video icon then with that done just select the two of them right click and create a compound clip 
Now with the compact clip selector, let's reduce the size of it a little bit so it will fit in the hand. And with this video icon, we want it to come in 5 to 10 frames after this hand animation. So I'm just going to take my playhead to the starting of this hand animation and go 5 frames forward. So then I'll just drag this video icon to that very frame. And now we need to animate that to come in. Make sure you've selected the compound clip and go to the right side and make a keyframe on rotate and position. Then go 28 to 30 frames forward and make another keyframe on rotate and position. Now let's use this arrow to go to the very first keyframes we created on that very compound clip. And on that side, on rotate, put in 120 degrees. And also with the Y axis, we want it to go down. We're going to use just the Y axis. So make sure your X stays zero all the time. We're just going to drag this till it disappear on the screen. And if it's not zero, you can just put in zero later on when you drag it down. So it will move only on the Y axis. So I'll show you guys, it comes in slowly on the screen. Now we need to make that smooth. Right click that and click on show keyframe animation. Then on Y, click on that and click on this drop down menu. Then click on this keyframe and change it to auto curve. And do the same thing with the first one, click on that and change it to auto curve. And now I'll play and see how it looks like. I think I can work a little bit on this very first keyframe. Just click on that and let's increase the handle a little bit so we'll get some fast movement a bit at the down. Now just right click that and hide keyframe animation. And with these intervals, I think I want to go two frames backwards so it will get to the hand a little bit faster. So I'm just going to move the keyframe closer to it so the animation will come a little bit faster. Now I'll play and see how it looks like. So with this test animation, go to the left side, click on default test, drag and drop in the timeline. Let me take it up to this side. Then go to the right side, delete default text. And we're just gonna write 50%. And with this font, I'm gonna use Monstera or Monstere. It looks closer to what he was using. And then I'm just gonna increase the size of it. Now with this text, we want it to come somewhere 18 frames after this video call. So I'm just gonna take my playhead to the starting of it and go 18 frames forward. Then I'm just gonna drag my text to that very side. And now we need to animate the text to come in. With that, we're going to play this trick on the text. I'll show you guys. When I go to animation, click on in, scroll down, and we're going to use slide up. When I click on that, it's going to come right from the bottom of the screen. But with this, we want it to come from this side. So we're going to play this trick with it. So about this part, you can skip this part. I just realized whilst editing this video that you can just use showing up on the in animation to achieve this effect. My bad. So just keep this side and go forward and use showing up for this very effect. We're just going to drag it down to this very side on the screen and then it's going to come from the bottom of the screen. Then with that selected first, let's change the duration to somewhere six seconds. Then I'm going to right click on this and create a compound clip. So now with the compound clip, I'm going to lock it on this side and I can easily place it to this very side. So now when you look carefully, it comes on that side on the screen. Now we need to put it behind the hands. Click on the compound clip, the text that we just did. Go to the right side and make sure you've clicked on basic. Then scroll down. Then let's play around the layers and see how it looks like. So we're going to put it on layer two for now. Now let's go to layer one and it's going to go behind it. Now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like. Now we need to do one last thing with this video call. Just click on that, press option or alt and drag upwards so we can make a duplicate of that. Let me just put it here so I don't confuse you guys. With this second one, that's the one in front. We want it to go behind this 50% so to give that look. So with this, we're just going to play around it a little bit. So first of all, let's just select the second one we just duplicate. Go to the right side. On layers, let's put it on layer one. Now it's going to appear this very 50%. So then take your playhead to the second keyframe on that. You can see this is the first and this is the second. Take your playhead there. 
and make sure you've selected that compound clip we duplicated then on that side we're just going to drag it up a little bit so when you look carefully it comes up a little bit let me play it more i'll play out and show you guys it goes and then it looks like it's behind this 50 percent i think we can work around this 50 percent let's just drag it up a bit so with this we're going to add some motion blur to this video call icon just click on the first one go to your right side and click on motion blur then i'm going to blend it into somewhere 60 percent and then take it to somewhere 80 to 85 percent and remember motion blur is really strong so if you don't have a strong machine do that as the very last stage of everything before you export so you don't slow down your machine so i'm just going to do the same thing with this down one click on motion blur take it to somewhere 80 percent and blend it in somewhere 60 percent now I'll play all together and show you guys With that, we want the out transition to last to somewhere on the six seconds. So I'm just going to take my playhead to that very side. Let me zoom out a little bit. Then let's start with the clock, the watch. Click on that. You can see our keyframe was on this side. So we're just going to drag it to that very side that we want to end the transition. And then we'll just trim this side off. Now I'm going to trim this side off too and trim this side off too. And then I'll just increase the hand now I just realized our text this side is very short so we need to make that long and with this trick we're just going to right click that undo clip and let's just stretch it to make it the same length as the rest of them. Now let's just right click that and create a compound clip and now we can just take it to this very side go to the right side and put it on layer 2. And with the out transition if you're using a pro version of CapCut PC you can make a compound clip of all of this but since i'm using the free version and some of you are using the free version too we're going to play a trick with this because we've already created a compound clip and with the free version you cannot create a second compound clip on top of the first compound clip i wonder if that makes sense to you guys take your playhead to the very ending point of it then go to this very three dot at the top side click on that and then select export still frame then let's just name it then choose the folder where you want to export it to i'm going to save it in downloads click open we're going to leave it at 4k jpeg just like that and make sure you have import project 10 on and then click on export then click on your media CapCut is going to import it right on this side so just drag and drop in the timeline now let me just make it a little bit short so with that just click on that image go to the right side click on animation then click on out animation and then select rotate out one now i'm going to play and show you guys what we have and it looks like the out animation was a little bit short so let's just increase that and increase the duration to somewhere five seconds let me increase it more and go for six seconds so now play and see So when you're editing this just take your time to get it nice and clean now if you want to know how to edit like pro youtubers check on this playlist catch you guys on the next one peace